Okay, page 12 of the synchronization notes. And we're going to diagram uh, or draw a, di a timeline of what happened. And so we have the bus management task, the communication task, and the meteorological data gathering task and their priorities go from high priority at the top to low priority at the bottom and they had both been running for some sorry not both all three had been running for some time and uh, the meteorological data task was released and it runs for a bit. At this point here, I'm going to do this in green to highlight it, it acquires the bus mutex. Now what happens at this point in time is that the communication task was released and it's higher priority so there's a context switch and the communication task runs and after some time of it running the bus management task is ready to run and remember that the communication task and meteorological data task executed infrequently so this you know combination of circumstances didn't was I guess a, a low probability event and so the bus management task uh, starts to run here we have a context switch and at this point it tries to acquire the mutex so let's do that so I'm going to say that it blocks on the mutex. It wants to acquire it, but it's still owned by the meteorological data task, which has not released it. It got uh, preempted before it had a chance to release it. So because this blocks, then the next highest priority that's ready to run is the communication task. So it runs, and remember it had a long execution time. So that means that um, the, the bus management task continues to be blocked and the, the meteorological data task cannot run because it's lower priority and this is a fixed priority scheduler so it's going to run whoever is the highest priority and it's ready to run and so let's just say that the, the deadline for the bus management task was here so at this point it misses its deadline and there is a watchdog timer in the system you re might remember that from the IO section of the notes and so at this point the watchdog timer has not been kicked or reset and it resets the system so the watchdog timer resets the system and you could actually uh, number the order in which these things happened so first the low priority task acquires the mutex then the high priority task um, blocks on it it can't run it misses its deadline and the watchdog timer resets the system okay so there is a solution uh, to this problem and the solution we saw a hint of it when I was showing you the RTOS2 mutexes it is called priority inheritance and the idea is fairly straightforward if a task holds a mutex such as the meteorological data task here and a higher priority task blocks on that mutex, 
the priority of the, the lower priority task with the mutex is promoted to be equal to that of the one that's blocked on it for as long as the low priority task holds that mutex. And so what that would do is it would cause the meteorological data task to have a higher priority than the communication task, so it, it would have run, it would have released the mutex, and then it would have been demoted back to its low priority, and the bus management task would have been able to run as soon as it, um, it unblocked from on the mutex. For example, with RTOS2, there was the OTEX, sorry, OS mutex prio inherit flag that I showed you when we were setting the attributes for the mutex. So just to put in words what I just said, the priority of the task holding the mutex is temporarily promoted to that of the highest priority task blocked on the mutex. So that's a bit of a mouthful, but basically the metadata task priority would get promoted to that of the bus management task once the bus management task got blocked because it wanted that mutex. Now it's temporary because as soon as the the low priority task that's holding the mutex releases it, then it goes back to its original priority. So the good news with the Mars uh, Pathfinder mission is that uh, they were able to download logs from the lander and they were able to identify the problem by looking at the logs and there's just one uh, flag that was used in creating the mutex that needed to be changed so they were able to change that uh, in memory I think using a C interpreter that they had on board and uh, that solved the problem.